Hello everyone, this is Nick and welcome back to another video. Now today I have a painting tutorial for you, which is one of the first ones that I've ever done on this channel. So it's going to be an acrylic painting tutorial and I'm going to show you how to paint a rose. Now for this video I'm going to be painting a white rose, but you can use any colours that you want to create any different coloured rose. So let's get started with the tutorial. So to start off with, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw out your design and I just did the basic shapes and blocked in all of the different petals and things and then what you're going to want to do is you want to get some white or whatever base colour you're going to use and just paint in all of the solid colour for the petals. Uh, now for the leaves what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some green and again just like the petals it's just going to paint in the solid green uh, onto the stem and the petals. Now, as you can see there's a bit of a cut there where I did the stem but don't worry the stem's really easy uh, all you've got to do is while the green paint is still a bit dry uh, not dry <laughs> while your green paint is still wet what you want to do is you want to get some white and you just want to run it down one side and then blend it in a bit and that creates the highlight of the stem then you want to just take some darker green and you want to go on the opposite side to create the uh, shadow of it so you have kind of a nice 3D looking stem. Now what I'm doing is I'm now going in and doing the petals of the rose. So what I've done is I'll just get in some more white and I'm just going over again and just adding in my dark blue which I'm using for the shading. As you can see before you do this you want to draw out the petals again and I realise that might be a bit of a pain so maybe for the first time all you want to do is just draw out the basic outline and then once you've done the white and you've let it dry then draw out the separate which is what I should have done but I wasn't really thinking um, so yeah just paint out the white just painting another layer of white because it wasn't quite as white as I wanted it and then I'm just using blue for my shadow but you don't have to use blue but I would say don't limit yourself to just using black and greys to add shadow to to different uh, objects that are white. I think just try and use different colours. So for example, I use blue because the background is also blue. So it kind of makes the painting kind of feel a part of the background rather than just have it stick out uh, over the top. And so that's why I decided to do blue, but you could use uh, a gray or any colour to be honest depending on the kind of feel you want the painting to go for. And actually, I think if I were to paint this again, I would use a mixture of blue and maybe grey to add the shadows, rather than being it just kind of a bit more, to make it a bit more kind of realistic and a bit less kind of one dimensional, if you understand. But, you know, in all, at the end, I'm very happy with this piece. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your time and this painting probably took me in all about four hours to do so just take your time and if you take your time then you'll be a lot happier with the final result and another really important thing that you want to focus on is your contrast now you want so that means basically you want your whitest areas and then your darkest areas and that really gives a sense of realism in your piece and it makes everything look a lot more kind of finished and polished and it looks really nice and it doesn't look so washed out so yeah that's my tips for doing the petals now while I'm just finishing that off I'm just going to talk a bit about an announcement now I'm going to be creating an online store where you can buy my artwork and you can buy art prints and lots of different things to do with my art and actually this painting that you see will be one of the ones for sale and at the moment I haven't made the website yet and I've got to create some more artwork and things but what I'll do is once the website is up and running I will leave a link in the description so you can go check it out and if you want to purchase some of my artwork and if you do that then it would really mean a lot because it then kind of gives me the money that I can use then to put forward towards these video so I can get better quality content for you guys. So now, as you can see, I'm just finishing up painting the petals. 
and adding in my shadows and everything. And I'm then going to move on to doing the leaves. Now, as there's n there wasn't a lot of footage for the leaves because my camera kept running out of battery, so I'm just going to explain some of it now. What you want to do is you want to take your darkest screen that you have and then just start out by outlining the veins and any other shadows that you might want to do. And then you want to start adding in your kind of highlights and things and your any other colours, like I added in some yellow to give it a bit more kind of colour to be honest. But what I'll do is when the footage comes up I will explain it a bit more. And to create this whole painting I only used five colours which was a white, a dark blue, a lighter green, a darker green and a yellow. And those were the only five colours I used to create this whole painting including the background. So. As a challenge, you might want to limit yourself to certain colours and that kind of creates a kind of challenge for you which I find really fun. So now, I, as you can see, the footage has come up to the point where I'm doing the leaves. So like I said, what you want to do is you want to start off by taking your darker colour and just adding in all of the veins and all of the basic shadows that you want. And then what you do is you want to start working. So what I did is I then took some yellow because I wanted to add a bit more colour to my leaves and I just then went over the, uh, the veins again with some yellow just to add that extra colour like I said and then I kind of blended it in a bit with some more green just to kind of make it so it blends in and it wasn't so kind of sticking out pretty much. Um, and then what I do is I take some white and add in some highlights uh, on the leaves between the veins which just kind of help like I said with the contrast to make everything look a lot more realistic and you just want to keep working at it and just keep going and then I just took some green and went over the white and that was pretty much it and I just repeated that for the other leaf leaf as well and that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly art videos every Sunday so that's pretty much it make sure to check out my social links I'll leave a link to them in the description below so yeah thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next week with another video goodbye